to lesson 10 projection. During this lesson, we're going to be revisiting some of the techniques we've covered so far, such as breath flow and control, clarity of tone and resonance. These are the most important elements that contribute to vocal power and projection. Without good breath control, there is no clarity of tone. And without clarity of tone, there's a lack of resonance. And without resonance, vocal projection, power or volume is greatly diminished. So we're going to take a deeper look into dynamics, louds and softs, and how we can better use our breath control or breath pressure to increase the amount of resonance we achieve when we're singing. However, projection doesn't just relate to the intensity or volume or resonance. Good projection is also measured by how clearly you can transmit your story into the ears of your audience through the power and clarity of your diction in particular through the way you articulate your consonants which adds energy and vitality to our words while we're singing. Have you ever listened to a singer and although the sound of their voice was audible found yourself straining to understand what it was they were singing about? Weak or muffled diction is also a form of weak projection. And so we're going to look at ways in which you can articulate your consonants clearly so that the story you're telling in whatever song you're singing is easily received and understood by your audience. So before we go into the first exercise for this lesson, it's important for me to emphasize that your vocal power and projection is not achieved through force. In fact, the more breath you force through the chords, the more tension you acquire in the muscles that surround your vocal apparatus, such as those found in the neck and throat. And tension will only contribute to your lack of projection. So when you strain, you take away the purity of resonance that occurs when the sound wave is allowed to travel into the various resonating cavities. When you strain or engage the neck muscles, the sound becomes trapped or stuck in the one area and therefore is unable to resonate inside the appropriate cavities. Purity of resonance occurs when the sound is allowed to resonate freely in appropriate cavities and is what creates volume and therefore aids projection. So now that you've gained some clarity on what projection truly is and how it's achieved, let's get into some practical exercises that will help to improve your overall vocal power and projection.